Time now for the morning rush. The original charge against an accused murderer is amended this morning. Mark Hayes is accused of fatally shooting 18 year old Cameron Martinez last year. Now, prosecutors say Facebook messages and witnesses reveal it was not a case of mistaken identity, that he intended to kill someone that night. Hayes is charged with first degree murder. Happening right now, authorities are searching for a former New Mexico narcotics officer. Roswell police say fired officer Gerald Juarez admitted to using drugs for about a month. The investigation into Juarez began in February. Detectives say they found cocaine in his home and a hotel room. There is a warrant out for his arrest. Weather today is staying nice and quiet. High pressure overhead means sunshine for all and warming temperatures for everyone. Our next big weather maker won't be moving in until Christmas Eve into Christmas Day. Looking ahead, 65 bills already pre-filed ahead of New Mexico's 2020 legislative session. The New Mexican reports among the dozens of bills are include measures to legalize marijuana, red flag gun legislation, and a new highway fund. The governor will make the final list of the bills set to be heard during the 30-day session, which does begin January 21st. We're waiting for the president to sign a trillion-dollar spending deal and avoid the government shutdown. The deal is aimed at funding the government through the fiscal year. The Senate approved it yesterday. The bill includes funding for gun research, increasing legal age of tobacco and e-cigarettes, and funding for the border wall. This morning, the city of Albuquerque is tackling scams plaguing residents. The city's Consumer Financial Protection Initiative has formed a scam squad to educate people about scams and to help those who've been ripped off. According to the Federal Trade Commission, the most common scams in Albuquerque are imposter scams. The Carlsbad Current Argus is reporting that last week the Eddy County Sheriff's Office conducted a blitz operation targeting thefts and burglaries in New Mexico's oil fields. Earlier this year, officials investigated an alleged theft from Concho Resources near Carlsbad. The estimated loss from 139 stolen barrels of crude oil was around $7,000. Construction work will start soon on a top New Mexico museum. The New Mexico Art Museum is known for contemporary art early next year in a building near the rail yards. That building has a more than 30-year-old mural on the side of it, which museum officials say cannot be saved. The new building should be open by 2021. And here's a look at the Metro Threat Index for today. We're seeing cold conditions this morning, so keeping it very low and later on just dry, quiet weather. A New Mexico hairstylist doing hair on a popular new show. You might recognize this one. The New Mexican reports Maria Sandoval from Santa Fe has long been a fan of the Star Wars franchise. After completing cosmetology school, she began working in the film industry. She's now using her skills for a Disney series, The Mandalorian. Sandoval says it is a dream come true. On to news. New at 6, General Motors issues two recalls for more than 814,000 vehicles in the U.S. This is for brake and battery problems. The first recall covers the Cadillac CT6, Chevrolet Silverado, and GMC Sierra 1500, all from 2019. Owners can go to their dealers starting next month to reprogram the brake computers, inspect the cables, and clean out the connectors. Drivers in the metro are offering up their own car through car sharing apps. The apps Turo and Get Around work kind of like Airbnb, allowing people to compare cars and prices and rent them out. Lawmakers in several states, including New Mexico, are trying to pass laws that would make sure owners carry insurance and rent to people with a valid driver's license. Happening right now, you might still be able to get your hands on free sand for Luminatias. The city is helping with your holiday decor this year. The sand is available at Kit Carson Park. While supplies do last, just bring whatever you need to load it up. New Mexico United is with a new team member this morning. Kaylin Ryden signing his contract on his wedding night with his bride by his side. United newest defender comes after two seasons with the Real Monarchs where he was defender of the year. We welcome you. A new partnership is finding to keep drunk drivers off the roads this holiday season. The New Mexico Department of Transportation partnering up with Bernalillo County and giving people $10 off of Uber rides. The deal begins today. Just use the code ABQMARY19. Erica. Get a look at that morning drive. There's an accident out there. It's on I-25 North, right at the Rio Bravo exit. It's unclear which lanes are closed, but this is causing major backups all the way to I-25 and Broadway. But everything else is looking good. Therapy Dog has a new favorite toy. Meet Ben Franklin. He's with the Franklin Police Department. During their toy drive, he decided to help himself to some of the toys collected, including that baby doll you see right there. That's not all Ben's stash, though. The officer searched Ben's cubby hole. That's where he found yet another toy. Officers now say they locked the toy room door just to be safe.